While severe thunderstorms crossed over the Wabash Valley last night, bringing some destruction to parts of the valley. Some Sullivan residents spending their day cleaning up after Mother Nature. News 10's Louisa Muller reports some damage may stick around for some time. This is the lawn of the Sullivan County Courthouse, obstructing the view of the building, a limb peeled from the trunk of this tree, the result of near hurricane force winds. We had several trees that were blown down, especially the, the larger one was on the uh, courthouse lawn. On North Broad Street, the earth suddenly caves in. It's a sinkhole caused by a lot of streaming water, which damaged the sewer system. One of the pipes were broken, so they're going to have to repair that. What you might not be able to tell from the video is that this four foot by four foot sinkhole is actually about 12 feet deep, causing a serious danger to people walking by. Further outside town, this car sits at the edge of a waterlogged freight street. The driver probably considering whether to plow through. There's a good cross current there on top of the road. One to two inches of rain means this low lying road could be flooded for some time. Two days and then it'll, it'll recede down to where you can cross it. A large tree limb rests on the top of this abandoned house, another indication that the winds were strong. But fortunately, no one was hurt. Reporting in Sullivan, Louisa Moeller, News 10. The Sullivan County Sheriff's Department responded to several reports of trees and power lines down last night. According to Duke Energy, almost 600 customers lost power at one time. Within the last few hours, crews have restored power to all customers.